Coming up next, it's a UFC heavyweight division collision. Well, I'm excited for this one. This is a kickboxer of the highest order. He has so many different kicks and punches in his arsenal and figures to try to keep this on the feet here tonight. The beautiful thing that he does is he throws that front push kick to create distance when a guy starts to get too close and wants to wrestle with him. He throws it, and the moment you're back at his range, he starts to blast high kick. He doesn't always intend on landing him, but he beats up your arms with high kick after high kick after high kick. And as you get desperate, you start to run into knees, and he does not need much space to land a knockout punch. This guy is one of the best strikers we've ever seen in the UFC. And if you don't find the striking range early against this guy, you could be in real trouble. I fear not the man who has practiced 10,000 kicks once, but I fear the man who has practiced one kick 10,000 times. Enter Bruce Lee. I mean, that's Bruce Lee in a nutshell. Over and over and over, he did the same thing, and it shows in the technique because there's no wasted energy. There's no wasted movements. Everything he does, he does with a purpose. He goes in there with an idea of what he's trying to accomplish, and he gets it done. Bruce Lee is the absolute best. Bruce Lee is the man. His grappling, his takedown defense figure to be tested here tonight, but there aren't that many guys who are gonna wanna stand and trade on a napkin in the center of the octagon with the great Bruce Lee. No, if you're fighting Bruce Lee, you're shooting for takedowns right yeah. away. Our tale of the tape for this heavyweight fight. So more than 10 years apart, these two fighters, with big differences in height and reach. Now for the official introductions, the veteran voice of the octagon, Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. When the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Herb Dean. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City. It's time! Five rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet six inches tall, weighing in at 265 pounds. Fighting out of Fullerton, California, the Giants. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds. Fighting out of Los Angeles, California, USA, Bruce the Dragon. Lee! You've been giving your instructions in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. You will have a clean fight. Touch gloves this make it fun. Ready. to lock the expectations for this matchup as round one gets underway. Seems to be a striking advantage on one side, but on the other, truly a fighter who can do it all. And that guy will usually have the advantage on paper. When you're a striker at this guy's level, that will normally balance out whatever advantage the other guy has. Oh, single collar tie here. Lee's got the tie clinch now. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? Right hand punch in the clinch. Nice combination of elbows there on the clinch by Lee. Oh, nice, nice right hand. Oh, collar tie. Oh, eats a knee. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by the jump. Well, if you like Muay Thai striking, this might be your moment in this fight as he gets the tie clinch. This is a massive moment for this fighter. He is a great Muay Thai fighter. Look for him to go knee-knee and then try to land a big one to the head. 
Oh, really exploiting his reach advantage as he landed the jab there, DC. He's very tricky when he throws that body kick. Look at the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. A little single collar tie there. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. Big call for punch lands. Now he gets back to range. Look at him working and trying to shut the liver down. Some nice back and forth action here. Just over three minutes to go. Going back to his patented kicks here, but unable to find the target there. That was lightning fast, that right hand. Jockeying for position in the clinch. Both fighters here trying to get a more dominant position. All right, he closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. Here he is back in the clinch. Oh, man, good stick to the body. Andy lands the knee to the body now. Oh, he's got it going now. Nice connection there, DC. Another punch land. Really timing his shots nicely. Good tempo, very accurate, finding the range with relative ease. Yeah, he's doing a great job of really overwhelming his opponent with activity. Straight right hand now just misses. He has a commitment to kick it tonight, and it shows. Well, they've made all the right reads here tonight, and there's another one. Beautiful read on the leg strike as he catches it and then returns fire with a punch of his own. So they have got the timing down here at this point of the fight. Ooh, head kick lands, and he's hurt. All right, well, his hooks have been a big storyline in this one, and there it is again. So just when you thought maybe the opponent had made the requisite adjustments, he gets cracked again. He gets cracked again, and it does not take many of those hooks to end your night. Big knee lands right through his opponent's midsection. Back and forth we go. Timing his shots pretty well here early, DC. He's doing a great job of mixing things up, keeping busy, being very accurate. Single collar tie now. Big kick lands. All right, so a nice straight punch there after he caught the leg. He decides to punch out as opposed to going for any takedown. And they separate. Swing and a miss by Lee. Well, really using his reach advantage there with that punch, DC. Oh, that's a nice strike. And a nice job at least staying upright on that. Both fighters hanging down in the pocket and both landing. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are gonna take their toll as this fight goes on. Oh, that is a nice straight punch by him there. He's got it all going tonight. No wasted actions, no loopy punches. He's going right to the target. Good series of strikes by him there. Great job of mixing it up, staying active, keeping busy, doing great work. Right hook to the head block. Right punches there, lands the elbow. That should leave him up. A lot of high-level highlights from that last round, DC. Take us through the replay. If he fought like this, I would be comfortable entering him into a K-1-level right. kickboxing competition. He's that good at finding and landing those kicks at will. He needs to continue to do this as the fight goes on. All right, we'll see how it goes here in this next round. A high number of kicks landed there in the previous round, and at some point, these really start to take it. They do start to take an effect whenever you're taking kick after kick after kick, and watching him fight with that knowledge and that patience shows his fight IQ. Beautiful kick. Oh, do you believe it? Another head kick lands. Got to start raising that guard or this is going to be the end of the You got to start raising the guard and guiding that head kick down back towards your feet. 
You cannot take him clean and you cannot take him on one arm. Huge damage from that elbow in the clinch. Oh, he's... Oh! Head off the center line, slips the punch. Plus right hand is true. Look at him drive his shin into his opponent's body with that body kick. In the clinch, big body punch, digging his entire hip into every single strike. Well, he has landed some good shots, DC, but really unable to string anything together in terms of solid combinations. It's because he's not committing to it fully. He throws his jab, he may blow the right hand out there, but he's not really sitting down on the right hand. He really doesn't seem to have the intent on landing it. He's got to be confident that it's going to land, and he's got to really throw his whole entire body into those strikes. Got the single collar tie. All right, so he lands a jab there. Pretty nicely done, DC. You can really control a fight just knowing how to fight behind your jab. No problem getting inside to land that straight punch. He's got a huge edge in reach, and he made good use of it there. Oh, it's a knee to the head. Timing his shots nicely here, champ. He's doing a great job of mixing everything up and using a lot of diverse strikes. Nice punch by Lee. Oh, combination lands, and it seemed like almost every strike found the target. He's so accurate when he decides to attack. It is a sight to behold. Massive key to the body land. Both guys appeared to land there. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. Lee's shot is blocked. Oh, how about this kicking game on full display tonight? Kicks back to back, just truly mixing up the target. Sight to behold, good body shot. Combination lands for him. He's really putting his strikes together tonight. I mean, he's feeling himself tonight, John. He's doing a great job of putting everything together. Well, his corner was pretty urgent after round one. Little bit lackluster there in that opening round. He has certainly picked up the pace here, and as a result, he has taken control of this second round. Oh, a nice straight punch there to his opponent, and he lands it just after catching the leg. So clearly, he is starting to find his timing, not just offensively, but defensively as well. Very good read there. All right, he engages in the single collar tie. Well, missed on that one. Again, back into this position. Starting to take its toll here. Obvious redness on that right side. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. Left hand punch with the clinch. Muay Thai plump. Good series of punches by him there. He has been busy throughout. He's doing a great job with the hands. He looks like a professional boxer out there. Nice punch there by Lee. Oh, that right hand is on point. Tie now. Switching stances here. Both fighters here continuing to try to get a more dominant position in the clinch. Get fatigued in the process, I would think. It's very taxing to be chest to chest. A position with one lead takedown. Lee gets the single leg takedown. Well played. All right, so you got to be careful playing on the ground with this guy. You don't want to mess around for too long. Crazy accuracy and efficiency with these ground and pound strikes here. And if you're the opponent, you've got to intelligently defend or the referee's going to stop you. got to defend, but you can see him now starting to gain posture and the intensity at which he's throwing these ground strikes is starting to improve. It's starting to elevate because he knows that he can get the finish. A lot of top pressure being applied here as he works out of side control. Relentless pressure from the top by Lee. Can he take? All right, that's the end of round number two. All right, so there's the end of the round. Big story in this one now. The cut on the bridge of that nose from that strike. The cut man is in there. Should be able to shut this one and potentially prevent it from being a factor here moving forward. All right, a lot of high-level striking action in that last round. Daniel, take us through it, if you would. Tit for tat. Who has the best chin? It seemed as though... They were looking for that answer. Both guys took risks, 
What a fantastic run. All right, so after he landed a high number of kicks in the previous round, we'll see if he can keep it going here as our next round gets under. He should stay the course. He's so educated with his legs and his feet that he's given his opponent a very difficult time trying to anticipate what's coming his way. Now he's got the Muay Thai block. Well, just as he did in the previous round, he continues to connect on a high volume of strikes. And a good sign, too, doesn't seem to be slowing down whatsoever. Man, he's just got a great feel for the striking realm early in this one. The timing is on point. He's doing a great job of mixing everything up. He gets to a spot, the tie pitch. Then he starts to let the knees fly. Oh, single collar tie here. Right on the button. Oh, these are some devastating knees, as we might say in Boston, some wicked, effective <laughs> knees. I love when you talk like that. I know you I do. think it's so, so good. <laughs> but there's some guy. I love the way you talk, but I love the way this guy fights. He's throwing those knees in order to shut the lights off. Man, the body work continues to be a factor here. Look at the size of that bruise on his body. Notice the drive. Look at how they drive the knee right into the midsection. Great punch. Oh, made good use of his size there as he lands the flush knee. And now they are throwing both sides with conviction. I mean, look at the commitment to kicking this fight. Ooh, now he's got the tie plum, Daniel. If you're on the other side, what are you trying to do to get out of this potentially dangerous position? You gotta start digging your shoulder to a side and then trying to shove an underhook. You cannot bend down to try to get out of Muay Thai clinch. Oh, collar tie. Well, not sure if he's lighter on his feet or what it is, but these last couple of rounds, he's been far more aggressive, a lot more pressure. Oh, he's really starting to light him up now. Nice straight punch. Oh, a little single collar tie there. Big knee land. Well, DC, headgear's not allowed, but he has raised the hands, and he's doing a nice job protecting the dome. He's doing a great job of blocking his head. A lot of times, those shots to the head will knock you out. Not this time. This guy's making sure nothing lands. The takedown is not there. Over and over, he's landed these big body kicks. Oh, and he lands a punch there. Good connection by him on that. Great connect. So fast, so accurate. Watch the ability to land from anywhere. Well, from a striking standpoint, he has put it all together tonight. He has landed a ton of significant strikes in. Oh, oh he might be out. Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Oh, spinning back fist lands. Huge damage from that elbow. Hardy closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. Real quick leg kick. DC didn't take him long to find his range here tonight, huh? His timing is on point. Great punch landed with so much power. Nice kick. These guys are going at it. And they clinch once again. The left hand punch with the clinch. Digging his entire weight into those punches to the body. Single collar tie now. Timely defense there. Huge block for him. Oh, nice overhand left. Got the single collar tie. And now he engages in a Muay Thai clinch. And I think a lot of people watching wonder how you can control an opponent like that. So at long last, he finally lands his first takedown after several failed attempts. You knew coming in that he was going to stay committed to the takedown. Kept and now he has a headlock trying to pin his opponent's bag down flat onto the mat. Look from the transition to an arm triangle to try to chase the finish. He needs to push the arm to the side. Get his head against the mat. Now watch as he goes to the finish. Watch his chest go to the mat. He goes flat. All weight and to this might just be a matter of time. Wow. All right, 
dive right into side control here, DC. Biggest difference between half guard and side control. Well, side control to me feels like a little bit less control because now my legs aren't really doing anything anymore. Now I'm controlling you with my upper body. So I've got to be very, very aware. It's still advantageous, but it just seems a little more free-flowing than having something like a half guard. All right, let's take a look back at the previous round. It is a bloody Saturday night, courtesy of those elbow strikes, champ. I mean, Muay Thai at its best. In tight, over the top with the elbow, coming up with the elbow. He's doing so many different variations of those elbows. All of his coaches at his Muay Thai camp would be very proud of the performance that he's putting Ready, on right, right now. Ready. Ready. Fourth round, fight scheduled for five five-minute rounds. It's messed up really bad. Let's go. Get out first for me. Beautiful body kick. Well, he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. He continues to connect on a high volume of strikes here. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. Good series of strikes for him there, staying busy and staying accurate. I mean, the accuracy is unbelievable. Oh! oh. Both guys landing in a pretty decent clip. Oh, straight right! All right, he engages in the single collar tie. Effective punch there by Lin. Misses with the left hook. Again, they clinch. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. Look at the control of the posture as they land that knee. Oh, hook to the head by Lee. If this guy doesn't move his head, his knife is about to end. Lee's knee to the body is blocked. All right, single collar tie now. And now he's got that tie clinch. He lands a switch knee. Oh, good series of knees by him there, working the head, working the body. He is going all over the place tonight. He is using that knee to really dictate where the fight takes place. Oh, beautiful jab by him there. Got that to the target quickly. He's dictating the fight with a jab. Dude's in a good flow state, landing punch after punch. Slips that left hand. Oh, single collar tie here. He lands a big knee to the body. Well, we wondered earlier why there weren't as many body strikes. He's making up for lost time here. Shot to the body connects, and that bears watching. That's going to hurt this opponent. Oh, that was a big takedown. Is this the one that's going to break him? Now the guy's got armbar. He's attacking it on him. He's attacking armbar now. Oh, he picks him up and slams him down. Big explosive slam to lift him and slam him out of that armbar. Go right into side control. Now let's see what he does, right? Sometimes when you do that, the choke or the yes. submission can get tighter, but he was able to evade it. Yes. Oh, nicely done there as he escapes back to his feet. That elbow got to the target very quick in the clinch. Back to the jab now, no good. Oh, he's got that right hand going tonight, DC. Connected with it there. He's thrown so many left jabs to throw that right punch right down the pipe. It's unreal. I mean, he's cutting them down the side with these beautiful leg kicks. And both fighters exchange in the pocket. Oh, he's feeling it now. Nice combination there by Lee. Man, is he timing his shots well here tonight, DC. It's hard to recall. Oh! Wow! What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish this fight. Oh, collar tie. Nice punch by Lee. He hurts. Oh, huge block. Whoa! Oh, he might be out. Maybe 
and so have we. Your winner by TKO. That was a great performance. Way to land those strikes and go and chase down the finish when you get an opportunity. All right, let's re rack the highlight now, DC, and he's certainly going to enjoy watching this one back. The head kick was there early, it was there often, and ultimately ended the night for his opponent. He found a weakness in his opponent's game. The left kick, over and over, he was able to land it. And he was landing the strikes, too, with his hands, but ultimately it was the kick that was hidden behind the punch that finished the fight for him. All right, here one more time, the veteran voice is Bruce Buffer.